All right, hello and welcome to Fursan al aqsa the Knights of uh, al aqsa Mosque. And I may be pronouncing that wrong, but that's fine. This is the remake version. So um, as you can see, there's like far more options than were available in the original. Um, so that's pretty cool. I'm customize my player. Uh, I get a, or in a rank. So I don't know, it looks the same. All right, well, anyway, let's jump into it and uh, play a couple of these, shall we? Just to kind of see how things are going. It looks like there's only three missions in the remake, but um, yeah, we'll give it a shot and, and see um, how things have really kind of changed in comparison to... Okay, I... I'm stuck. I, um... I am... I, I can't seem to move. Um... Let's, hold on, let's just... Uh, save and quit, I guess? Oh, I'll try it again. Maybe I messed up somehow. Okay, go to mission. I'm not going to skip the cutscene this time. Maybe that's what did it. Okay. I mean, there's like a, definitely a very, very much of a change to, you know, what, uh, what this is like in comparison to, um, to, uh, the original version. Um, all right, I have no idea why this guy can't seem to move. Like, I, I don't have a controller plugged in because I'm, it's a, a game I'd like to play with, uh, a mouse and a keyboard, but I can't seem to do anything. Like, I mean, shoot, aim down sights, change weapon, and look. Is there no way to move? Nope, WSD is move. Change camera, mission objective, C. Okay, look, I can't, I cannot, I can't play that if I'm only playing in from one single spot. Um, let's try this to see if it's, no, it's the same thing, like, I, my dude can, uh, like, I don't, I, I, I do not know. I am very confused as to why nothing seems to work. Um, this is probably why. Because it automatically sets it up for uh, the keyboard, which I'm or with for the controller, which I was not using. And I think I fixed it. Indeed, I did. All right. Very strange uh, setting, for sure. Oh, well, I mean, right off the bat, I think the um, gunplay is a little bit better. Weapon switching is a bit better. I mean the. Aim down sights for third person is still like a little bit kind of janky. But there's improved graphics. Hmm. Or do we no longer have the. Um, I don't think we have our ability to uh, slow-mo. There's no more bullet time. I guess we don't need it as much. For this. Uh, let's see. What else do we got? We got more people to kill, right? What is this? I need to find C4 explosives. Gotcha. You know, the level layout... 
Jeez. The level layout is really, really wide and open, which, you know, it's not a bad thing, but it definitely makes this feel like it's, um, almost set up to be like a, I don't know, almost, I don't want to say a wave bait shooter. That's not what I'm looking for. But it feels like this is something that I would be experiencing in, like, Call of Duty. Um, like, in, like in a bot match or just a, a multiplayer uh, map. It definitely has that feeling, just everything is kind of wide open, relatively sparse. Okay, so I think these, uh, these, uh, little target symbols, actually, no, I, I don't think I'm possible to tell. How many more guys are there? We still suffer from some of the same issues that we had in the, uh, the classic version. Where enemies just, man, they are just very, very quick to find you and start shooting at you. Um, and the way that it, the way that the bullets are traveling, because they're they're not really accurate. They're very, very inaccurate, actually. But the way that they start just shooting like all over the place in random places is a little bit hard to kind of then pinpoint uh, where they are. Uh, but given the nature of how this um, version of the game is set up, I think what I'll do is I'm gonna I'm gonna play a bit of this level. I'm still looking for the other people uh, to get, and um, okay, boy. wow! <laughs> I couldn't kill this guy because he was. Wait, how? Like, okay, whatever. Uh, anyway, we got 24 people left. I know, you know, and I haven't found C4 or anything. Um, you know, I'm gonna keep looking and trying to find this stuff, but. I do not know why he's struggling to shoot through the window that I was very accurately aiming through. Uh, anyway. Uh, but I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna give it a shot to... Oh, he was, uh, right there. Alright, cool, I died. So I'm gonna go back to the other level. Try that out. And then I'll try the third mission. So this will definitely be a shorter video in comparison to the previous video. Just simply because of the... Uh, it has a little bit... Well, I don't want to say a little bit. It has less content than the classic version. Um... But it is very cool that you don't have to pay anything extra to get, uh, you know, the the remake, you know, that's going on. Uh, you got to admire that level of dedication from the developer who is uh, essentially making a, a kind of new... Kind of a new game, almost. I mean, it's the same game, but it's uh, different, definitely different graphics, different uh, combat mechanics, a little bit improved gunplay. Uh, anyway, just doing all this stuff for um, for free, just trying to make sure that you get uh, a little bit more modern of an experience. So definite kudos to the developer for that. You just don't see that very often. And I'm really impressed by that philosophy to, um, you know, provide substantial updates to, uh, you know, for the consumers. Am I wall running? I I am wall running. We still I, I still seem to struggle with doors. Doors are still something that are uh, very difficult, and we definitely are wall running. So it's kind of like we were mixed with a little bit of um, the Matrix and John Wick, and um, I'm trying to think of like a movie that has like 
really inaccurate fighters. Oh, you know what? Maybe like the A-Team. That's essentially perhaps what I'm thinking of. Because they just, they just missed all the time. I feel like the A-Team would have solved a lot more of their problems had they not just been trying to not shoot people. Because some of the people they were like going to deal with were arguably awful. And it would just be like, we're, we're just going to shoot at them to moderately annoy them and, and scare them. Um, but I mean, hey, whatever. I mean, it was the um, the 80s or the 70s. I don't actually remember when the A-Team came out. I knew I watched it when I was a kid. Uh, in the 80s or 90s, so... How many more people we're gonna find down here? A lot of people. Some variety in what these um, icons are would be super helpful. It would go a long way because, like, I'm looking at it, it's like, okay, uh, that means I need to blow something up. Uh, apparently, I need to get into these places. Come on, dude. Oh, man. Really? Did I get him? I don't think I got him. 21 people left. I can do it. I mean, I don't know if I'm going to do it. I mean, I'm going to go see the other level uh, shortly. Thermal battery. So while I think the gunplay and the... I mean, the, the graphics... Yeah, definitely the graphics have seen some improvements. Uh, Gunplay, I would say, has also received a little bit of an improvement. Like, it's not like an amazing improvement, but it's definitely a little bit better um, than the original classic version. But the level design it feels like a step backwards, at least of those two levels. I, I, you know, it doesn't really feel like a cohesive level as much as it just feels like this area that's... Whoops. It just feels like an area that's this large, you know, almost sandbox uh, environment for me to go through and, you know, kill all the guys. Alright. So, they want me to do some headshots with a sniper rifle. I can maybe do that. It counts. I don't know why I move so slow just because I have this aimed. Definitely some occasional odd choices. Uh, with the weapons, but I would say if you played the original, the classic version, then you would probably en enjoy playing this version of the game as well. Like I mean, it's just kind of like dumb fun. Like it's uh, you're not you don't have to put a lot of thought into anything. It's it's really just run around and shoot things. Um, it's not complicated. I mean, it's. It's literally don't get shot too many times because then you will die from it, but, you know, shoot a bunch of other people and, um, you know, just, just have a good time, you know, enjoy yourself, I guess. Alright, I'm being shot at this guy and that guy who's a terrible shot. Alright. Can you switch guns? Alright, what is this? It's... But there's no shotgun. Shotgun feels like it would be pretty cool for the buildings. Um, 
with all the close combat and everything. Obviously, the sniper rifle's a silly choice uh, in here. I know there was another guy here. Or at least I think there was. Yeah, the AI is... <laughs> it like... They're either like crack shots, or they see you really quickly, or... Um, they just have no idea what's happening. It's actually kind of funny a little bit. Like how bad the AI is at times. But there's a lot of promise to it. I mean, that's the whole thing that I, that I would say that I can walk away from this experience and say that there's, you know, there's a lot that the game, you know, has to offer uh, with the variety of the, of the levels. Uh, not necessarily this one, but I mean the classic. But this one, you know, it only has three right now, but it'll have more later. Um, And for a game that, you know, you just run around shooting stuff, I, I think this, like, totally fits. Like, it's just a, you know, just, a, just turn your brain off, run around, shoot things. Yeah, yeah it's a good time. Um, yeah, this will be the last of the levels for this because it is the last level. Let's see if I can find this other guy. Seems like he might be upstairs. I can figure out how to get up there. I like this level more than the other two levels I tried. This, I still stand by my statement that the levels just kind of feel almost like a, like a giant sandbox where you've just been tossed in to do some things uh, without any actual real kind of feeling of, of progression through them. Um, and I mean, I would say in the current setup of the game, like it, I, I think that's fine. Like it makes sense, you know, in order for you to just kind of you know, just go around and, and, and do the stuff that the game primarily consists of, of shooting things. But it, you know, I, I, it's hard to look at this and say that, um, you know, with the actual story, because there is a story, we get, you know, information on the story every time we uh, start a new mission. It is hard to look at that story and then go into the actual gameplay and find it to be somewhat cohesive. It doesn't really feel like we're actually following the narrative that the game is telling us exists. Uh, because it really does just seem like I'm being plopped down into this random area and, you know, and I'm, I'm completing things at, at random. It's almost like somebody had a hat and said, hey, we're going to drop you off somewhere. We want you to do some stuff that's probably going to be bad for the, uh, you know, our opponents. And... Um, we don't really know what we're doing, or we don't really have any real purpose for this, other than just to inflict harm on them, and just kind of just go do your thing, like, you know, have a good time. Uh, it's like being dropped behind enemy lines with the intention of just wreaking havoc, which I guess is fine, like, I mean, the, it's a strategy, a valid strategy, perhaps? <laughs> what is... What is he doing? He's trying to like climb up the stairs and he just can't do it. He's like, nope. Allahu Akbar. No stairs for me. <laughs> Alright, hey, how many more people are there? You're six? Ugh. You know, even though I have like the map where it says like people are, like I I cannot imagine that I'm gonna find these other six guys. Oh maybe I will. There's only five left. Uh, let's see. I'm gonna try a little bit, a little bit more to see if I can't find this final handful of guys. I feel like those are not like the intended ways to climb inside. I mean, it works, but. It definitely doesn't feel like it's supposed to work. Alright. 
a couple more people. Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar. Oh, now this is a thing? Am I like supposed to shoot these drones down? Allahu Akbar. Oh, it doesn't have like a it's not like a heat seeking. Allahu Akbar. Oh well that's just bad idea. Well I uh, found um I guess the edge of the map. Yeah, okay, that's not like it. You know, like, uh, people usually will say something if I do that. I don't know, they just kind of get upset with me, it feels like. It's not like I purposely try to, like, find things that are game-breaking. It just happens to be sometimes I find, um, you know, something that isn't necessarily intended. Wow, I couldn't, like, I can't kill this guy. He's bulletproof. There he is. Alright, we got one guy left. Let's go find him and uh, say goodbye to our time here. Dunsies. Uh, the other thing is find the other missile launchers and, uh, you know, blow up the UAVs. They're already trying to blow up the UAVs and it, uh, it was, doesn't seem like it's going to be something within my skill set. Anyway, uh, save quit, and then again, that was the, um, no more other missions that I can do at this time. So, yeah, that's gonna be it for this video. Overall, like, I mean, it's a fun game. Like, it is definitely something that, uh, kind of, like, flew past my radar, uh, for the longest time, so I'm glad that, uh, when I asked for people to let me know what kind of games I should play, uh, that the indie developer for this title saw that post and gave me a couple of keys to play this because I, I, I had a good time with it. I, um, I, I think it would probably be a longer time before I came back to this, the remake version, but the, um, uh, the classic version still, you know, has some promise there to, to get in there and maybe finish. Uh, but anyway, that's the end of this video. The link is in the description. There is a demo that you can try, so if you're curious about the game but you're not really sure about it, just play the demo and see. If you are interested in it, though, I definitely encourage you to wishlist it, and it is going to be on... It is currently on sale for the Steam FPS Fest. Um, that's it. That's all I got.